Okay, so I saw the story on social media or Twitter or something where some people were, had gotten stabbed at the airport in Atlanta. And, yeah, it struck me as being a strange story because you don't often hear stories about people getting stabbed in the airport in Atlanta. And so when I looked up the story to see what actually happened, it wasn't until the day that I saw the mugshot of the person that was apparently allegedly involved in this incident. And it all kind of made sense to me because, let, well, let me just say this. There are certain people that if I see you in public, there's going to be a wide, and I do mean a wide amount of space between you and myself. Exhibit A is this person right here. If I see this person in public, whether it be at the airport, the post office, the grocery store, the Goodwill, anywhere I see this person, there's going to be a wide area of space between this person and myself. And I'm not one to... I'm not one to promote profiling by the police, but I just, I just got to say, if I'm a police officer working at the Atlanta airport and I see a person that looks like this, I don't care if that person ain't doing a damn thing. We're going to have a conversation. I'm going to initiate a conversation, even if it starts off with, hey, is everything okay? Hey, and I, yeah, and I'm gonna have my hand on my taser as we're having this conversation because I just, I just feel like this person is giving. Yeah, if you get close enough to me, some shit's about to go left. That's what this person is giving. I'm not one to judge. I'm not one to prejudge. I'm not one to. You know what? I guess I am doing all of those things. But yeah, yeah, this should have never happened because. I'm just saying profiling is not right, but uh, sometimes it's necessary.